Hey, what's up? Welcome to RGTV. Today I am doing an unboxing of a pair of speakers that I ordered on Amazon. Definitely on the cheaper side, nothing too special. I have these, which are great, which I use for mostly for gaming. I honestly use these way more for gaming than anything, but uh, I also use them for editing my videos, like listening to audio. But I definitely needed a pair of actual speakers for my desk setup here. Tie it all together. That's the one thing I was kind of missing. Oh, and a keyboard, but that's on its way. So it should be here next week. And then I'm going to be doing a full video of my full desk setup tour. So hopefully you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. So yeah, let's do this unboxing. Oh, I'm also uh, just hanging out with my boy here. He's uh, just being good, chilling while I make this video. Okay, anyways, let's get into this. Okay, so these speakers are the Sanyon SW208. They're rated 60 watt output power at maximum level, less than 1% distortion. They're about seven inches tall, five inches wide, about five pounds. They're Bluetooth and USB, also auxiliary, button controlled, three dials on the right side here, both volume, treble, and bass. In the back you have the A output, where you can just plug in the right speaker to the left speaker or vice versa. You have your auxiliary input, your USB input, your AC power cord jack, and your power on and off. It also comes with an aux cord. It comes with this cord that you plug into the back, which plugs in one of these into something like a phone or a computer, anything with a USB or a USB-C. So no matter what you have, you always have a way to set it up, whether it's via Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB-C, USB-A. So I have the speakers set up to my laptop through Bluetooth. So I just listen to these speakers for about 10 minutes. Um, I listen to some music, went, watch a couple YouTube videos, seen how they sounded. And I gotta say, first impressions, they sound really good. <laughs> So I was gonna put this video out with me only listening to the speakers for about 10 minutes, doing a review about it. But then I realized, you know what? I'm gonna spend a couple days and then I'll come back, film it, and give my like honest opinion after a few days. Um, yeah, I sat down and I actually watched a bit. Well, I watched the Justice League Snyder Cut upstairs on my big TV with my big speakers. I came down here, actually watched like some parts that I wanted to rewatch because it's like a four hour movie. So, um, so I'm not gonna spoil any of it for you if you want to go and watch it. I recommend it like 100%, way better than the 2017 version. So after listening to, like actually watching a bit of a movie on it for like, I must have watched it for about an hour. Um, I realized there's, these are like, six speakers like for at least movie watching or like even YouTube videos and stuff like I watch a couple YouTube videos on there I've actually been listening to a lot of music on them too um, they go pretty loud for the price range they are the bass ain't perfect but it's it's definitely good like it's it's they're really good speakers is like bottom line I gotta say they're they're great speakers I definitely buy them again no, by no means they're the greatest speakers out there you could definitely spend a bit more to get something that you're a bit more happy with um, but for me I like for everything I'm doing I 100% recommend these one thing that I don't like about them though is that the cord in the back is way too short so like if you could see here in the back like I could barely reach that to that one um, that's just barely being able to reach another thing I don't like about them the dial doesn't have like a stop at the very lowest like it doesn't stop it just keeps going so like sometimes when I turn them on and I left them really loud before it's just it turned it on and it's just blaring so you don't know the exact sound like how loud it is when you turn them on actually so sometimes I turn them on and 
scare myself because it'd be so loud um other than that it's it's really they're really great like the bat the on and off button is right in the back so if you just want to keep them off not too many things i dislike about them other than those two things i guess i'm basing my 10 out of whatever on three things one is quality of the material like it's made from uh, second sound the third one is just um, connectability like how easy it is to use and they're extremely easy to use you literally could just set them up with bluetooth super simple or else throw a aux plug in you plug it into the wall plug it into aux and you're good to go they're like heavy so they're like feel like they're made of a good material um like they're they're not like really shitty made speakers like they're not they're not like plastic feeling speakers i guess and the sound you, if you're watching a movie through these they sound really good i gotta give it an 8.5 out of 10. that's uh they're not the perfect speakers but they're definitely they're definitely up there well for me so if you do decide to get them um, i'll leave a link in the description for you and yeah i just found them on amazon i was uh just looking for something under a hundred dollars that would sound good and um yeah i think they uh they turned out really great i'm really happy with them anyways that's uh my quick review um i've had these speakers for a couple days now and i've been using them as much as possible so if you have any questions about them leave them in the comments and i'll be sure to get back to you he was flat